This episode of Stuck in Vermont is brought to you by Burlington College. Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days. My name is Ava Solberger, and we're here at 242 Main in downtown Burlington for after school rocks. It's high school and middle school kids who've been coming here for five weeks after school to learn how to play instruments, play in a band together, learn about songwriting, and today is their final recital. Uh, I think it's going to be pretty exciting with all the people watching. I love watching them get nervous and then getting over it after the first couple beats. Come on now! So we talk to them about what it means to really rock. Rock chicks are hot. A super major yep. rock star. I really love playing music. We did all originals, by the way. Pretty cool. Pretty awesome. Playing a band. It's crazy. I think that everybody in their life should have to heighten their sense of drama and theater. 242 Main After School Music Program. It is modeled after a, uh, a program we, we started about seven years ago in the summer called a rock camp. We get them into bands, we teach them how to write original songs. Hopefully we teach them a little bit about interacting with each other and uh, about performing on stage. We bought all of the equipment so that kids could come from after school without having to lug instruments. We have return students. We have a mentor program that Sarah, who's sitting over here, uh, is, is part of. Yeah, I've been at camp for like 10 sessions. I was, I've been at camp for a while. My third session. My third session? I've done it three times. Well, I've actually been here since the camps started. What is this, like your first time playing, picking up a guitar was in this camp? Well, Cormac taught me a lot of stuff. You're here three times a week for two hours and you're just playing with your friends. <laughs> Four two is just uh, down the street from Edmond. I love it here. It's a lot of fun to work with the younger kids, and I love music. It's my entire life, pretty much. I can't practice at home, at home as much as I'd like to. I mostly just play by myself. So I'm only allowed to have my drum set in the basement where it's kind of cold and scary. <laughs> Usually there's nothing to do after school. They can all just come together and have a jam session and just have fun regardless of where they're from or who they are. <laughs> form bands over this five week or six week period. It's really fun to actually be in a band. I definitely think it's more fun playing with other people. You're actually playing a full song and not yeah. like just like playing by yourself. I made a lot of new friends last time. I, I really like the people here. Most of these guys are my friends. We don't like each other. He's pretty cool. They're able to come out of their shell and play and work with others. Teaching kids to communicate with each other is like little things like remembering to turn down your guitar when someone's talking to you. If you don't like each other, you know, things like Guns N' Roses happens and everyone breaks up. structures of songs. We still have our theory classes and kids have to learn to count and understand time signatures. Okay, well you put the third finger on the fourth fret and like, you know, hold your pick like this and like, no, don't put your thumb like that because it's bad for your wrist, you're gonna get carpal tunnel syndrome. We learned some stuff about stage performance. Being like, good at directing a band and, you know, having good leadership skills and like, winding up cables at the end of the day and being considerate to other people. You know, we really try to instill uh, mutual respect, peer respect, but also we as instructors approach them as peers. It's great to see that your kids are um, doing something productive. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We encourage kids to try all the instruments that they want. I play guitar. Um, I kind of play drums, kind of play bass. I've been playing bass since I was like 10. Kind of into a Van Halen I'm kind of playing right now. Hard rock, metal stuff. Like, I listen to mostly metal, but I'll play anything. I am but a pimple compared to like some of the other kids in this town. I'm finding a lot more girls are interested now. I have a guys club, so it's cool when, like, you know, we have some talented young ladies that are really interested in doing it. I, I like being around the guys, not gonna lie, especially when I was in like seventh grade and the eighth grade guys were really hot, that was fun. I definitely would like to, um, to make a band when I'm older, so. Yeah, I'd really love to see it uh, become at least part of my career. I'd like it to be part of my life. I don't know if I'd make it a career, but. Just, you know, for fun. <laughs> Spend quite a bit of time on the computer. Yeah, a lot of computer and video games. You just feel, I think, a lot better after you've been like playing music for an hour. Much less of a waste of time. Sense of accomplishment. Here you can actually like do something. It's 
good to know there's still some old fashioned rocking going on. We'll get stuck around with you again. Interesting. Best thing about this, we get to tell them like you know what you're really gonna be doing with your life as a musician is you're gonna be loading gear up and downstairs and you're gonna be getting early so that you can wait. So you mean it's not all about look at me everyone, I'm so cool? For five minutes it is. <laughs> And the rest is all just the And that's only the person who sits around in solos. Yeah. Everybody else just sits in the background. Yeah. It's all anticipation <laughs> and regret. <laughs> We're one of the few colleges in the country that have an overseas study program in one of the most fascinating cities in the world, which is Havana, Cuba. Burlington College has applied for and received a license to have an overseas study program in Cuba. We sent six students there and we welcome applications.